Hello and welcome. In this video, we will debunk the lie that silver is going extinct or that the USGS states that silver is going extinct. We will start with some scientific facts about silver and then we will look at the silver going extinct story. Silver is an element. Elements are the fundamental materials of which all matter is composed. All matter on the planet can be broken down to the basic elements. A chemical element is a pure chemical substance consisting of one type of atom, distinguished by its atomic number, the number of protons in its nucleus. Silver atoms have 47 protons in their nucleuses, so silver is the 47th element on the periodic table. An element cannot be broken down into smaller substances using chemical means. In other words, it cannot be broken down into a smaller substance without destroying the atom of an element in a nuclear reactor. In other words, the quantity of an element, for instance, the amount of silver or gold that the earth contains, never changes. It doesn't increase. It doesn't decrease. Unless it was altered in a nuclear reactor or blasted off into space, the amount of silver and gold that the earth contains always remains the same. Often silver is compared to oil to mislead people into thinking silver is running out. However, oil is several compounds while silver is an element. When oil is used, the compounds break down and become new substances. What remains is no longer oil, and each time oil is used, the amount of oil on the earth decreases. When silver is used, the amount of silver does not decrease. The quantity of each element that the earth contains never changes. So how did the silver shortage story start? In 2005, Ted Butler wrote an article titled Friedman's Theory, in which he looked at the 2004 United States Geological Survey. You can find this article by searching Ted Butler, Friedman's Theory. In this article, despite claiming that he has looked at reserve and resource statistics for years, and that it was not his intention to mislead anyone or distort the information, Ted Butler looked at the total reserves and resources on the USGS report and then claimed that the total resource base, which is the combined silver resources of all silver miners, is all the silver that is left in the ground. He then divided the resource base by the amount of silver mined each year for his projected run out of silver. Whether it is Ted Butler or anyone else making the claim, the premise is that one looks at the total reserves or total resources from all silver producers on the USGS report and then divides that amount by the total amount of silver that is mined each year. Since that article, others have claimed that the USGS itself made the claim that silver will go extinct. Since it is physically impossible for an element to go extinct, it is pretty laughable to claim that the largest geological group in the world is stating something will happen that one learns is impossible in a high school level science class. Let's look at the definition of silver resources and silver reserves. A mineral resource is the quantity of minerals in the mineral deposit for which there are reasonable prospects for eventual economic extraction. A mineral resource is not an inventory of all the valuable minerals in the mineral deposit. It is an estimate of the quantity of the valuable minerals in the deposit, which have been demonstrated to eventually be economic to mine out. For most minerals, the term eventual extraction roughly means within the next 10 to 15 years. So a mineral resource is that part of the mineral deposit, which has been demonstrated to be mineable for a profit within, for most cases, the next 10 to 15 years. To prepare a mineral resource estimate, a series of samples and tests are performed. There may be 200 to 300 drill holes providing samples on which geological, mineralogical, chemical, and physical tests are carried out. Mineral reserves, also called ore reserves, are the part of the mineral resource that has been shown to currently be economical to mine out at the time of reporting. Mineral reserves are upgraded or converted mineral resources. When a producer converts resources to reserves, they are taking mineral resources, which are minerals that were demonstrated previously to be economically mineable sometime in the future, and demonstrating that the minerals are economically mineable right now. So again, 
Mineral resources are minerals that have been demonstrated to be able to be mined out for a profit sometime in the future. Mineral reserves are all a part of the mineral resource that has been converted to the status of demonstrated to be mineable for a profit right now. Let's look at three of the major producers of silver and the reserves and resources. On Pan American Silver's website, it states that their mission statement is, quote, constantly replacing mined silver reserves and resources through a successful brownfields exploration program, unquote. Under About Us, it states that Pan Am is, quote, constantly increasing silver production and reserves, unquote. Looking at Pan America's 2013 annual report, we can see that since 2005, Pan Am has increased silver reserves every year except one. In their 2006 annual report, Pan Am states that they, quote, increased their silver reserves and resources at every one of its operation and development properties. In their 2007 annual report, Pan Am states that they focus exploration efforts on their operating properties in order to replace all proven and probable silver reserves that were mined. We not only replaced what we extracted, but we added another 7% to our silver reserves, unquote. In the 2008 annual report, Pan Am states that they, quote, discovered and defined 26.9 million ounces of silver that were added to reserves and resources. In the 2009 annual report, Pan Am states that they are continuously increasing its silver reserves. In the 2011 annual report, Pan Am states that, quote, although mining activities deplete ore bodies, our mineral reserves and resources can grow through open field discoveries that add new projects, or from brownfield exploration that expands mineralization and mine life. Since 2004, Pan American has discovered in excess of 198 million ounces of proven and probable mineral reserves. Again, since 2005, Pan Am has increased their silver reserves every year except one. Fresnel is the world's largest silver producer, as well as the world's largest primary silver producer. Last year, Fresnel produced about 39 million ounces of silver. Fresnel's website states that they are on track to meet their goal of increasing their production to 65 million ounces of silver by 2018, an increase of 65% over last year's production within the next four years. Furthermore, they are on track to increase their silver reserves to at least 650 million ounces to maintain that level of production for at least 10 years. Fresnel's flagship mine, the Fresnel Mine, is the world's largest primary silver mine and has been in continuous operation for almost 500 years. For almost 500 years, silver has been mined from the Fresnel Mine, and it is still the largest producing silver mine to this day. Looking at Fresnel's 2008 annual report, we can see that both silver resources and silver reserves increased that year. Looking at Fresnel's 2009 annual report, we can see that silver resources increased that year again. In the 2010 annual report, Fresnel states that they will be able to produce silver for years to come because they have 1.47 billion ounces of silver resources and the ability to develop even more. They state that they are on track to meet their goal of producing 65 million ounces of silver by 2018. In the 2011 annual report, Fresnel states that silver resources increased from 1.47 billion to 1.8 billion, an increase of over 300 million ounces of silver that year through exploration. Again, they state they are on track to meet their goal for 2018. In the 2012 annual report, Fresnel states that silver resources increased from 1.8 billion to over 2 billion, an increase of over 200 million ounces that year through exploration. That is over 500 million new ounces of silver added to Fresnel's resources in just two years. Again, they state they are on track to meet their goal for 2018. And in the 2013 annual report, Fresnel states that silver resources increased from 2.03 billion to 2.13 billion an increase of about 100 million ounces of silver, again through exploration. Again, they state they are on track to meet their goal for 2018. KGHM is the world's third largest silver producer. 
KGHM states right on their website that they have enough silver reserves and resources to keep them mining silver for at least the next 40 years. Looking at the other major producers, we can see that most producers replace or increase their resources and reserves most years. Gold Corp, Polymetal, Yamana, Core, Vulcan, First Majestic. So again, silver is an element. The amount of silver that the world contains never changes. The world contains the exact same amount of silver now as it did a thousand years ago, and a thousand years from now it'll still contain that amount. I have shown you what silver resources are and what silver reserves are, and that most producers replace or increase them over time. After all, if they didn't, they wouldn't remain in business very long. If you hear someone say that silver is going extinct, or that the USGS states that silver is going extinct, they are doing one of two things. Showing you that they do not understand the very basics of silver mining, and that they do not have a basic understanding of chemistry, geology, or physics, or attempting to mislead you.